You're welcome to Logos of Flame Daily Devotional Podcast. Be blessed as you listen. February 19th. Today's topic is, Does God's Word Profit You? Our focus today will be on the popular parable of the sower. Jesus said, If you can't understand the meaning of this parable, how will you understand all the other parables? Mark 4.13 Therefore, we want to pay attention to Mark 4, 15 to 20. The seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the message, only to have Satan come at once and take it away. The seed on the rocky soil represents those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy, but since they don't have deep roots, they don't last long. They fall away as soon as they have problems or are persecuted for believing God's word. The seed that fell among the thorns represent others who hear God's word, but also quickly the message is crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth and the desire for other things, so no fruit is produced. And the seed that fell on good soil represent those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even a hundred times as much as had been planted. What we can deduce from this passage is that whenever the word of God is preached or when people read their Bible, you are likely to have the four classes of people or four types of outcome highlighted in this parable. Therefore, the question is, what class of soil would you like to be? The good soil does not happen by accident, just like a farmer prepares the soil before and after planting, so also we must prepare our hearts to receive the word of God and cultivate it to produce multiples in our lives. Tips to being the good soil. Always pray for the understanding of the word before you read, listen to it. Cut out all distractions, smartphone, TV, etc. Stay focused on the word alone. Meditate on the word day and night so it can take root in your heart. Memorize the word. Dig deep by studying the word. Believe what the word says. Obey specific instructions promptly. When problems, worries, or persecution arise, turn to the word and pray. Practical Reflections 1. Join the Lamb yearly program of reading through the Bible if you have not done so. State how you intend to follow through with minimal missed days. 2. Challenge yourself to memorize the word. Our Bible reading is from Leviticus 7, 28 through 9, verse 6. Mark 3, 31 through 4, 25. Psalm 37, 12 to 29. Proverbs 10, 5. Our memory verse is from Mark 4, 24, using the New Living Translation. Pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding you will be given, and you will receive even more. We would love to hear from you. Please send your messages and prayer requests to our email, office at logosofflameministries.org, or visit our Facebook page, Logos of Flame Ministries, and drop a message. God bless.